Well, I've got a great view for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the Seagate Exos 20 terabyte SATA hard drive, and we're going to be taking a look at the Western Digital Red Pro 20 terabyte hard drive. Let's get right into. In terms of models, I do believe that the Western Digital is a current revision, as in there isn't a newer version of this specific drive out. However, the Exos, this is the X20 version. I do believe that um, Seagate's versioning. There is now an X24 version, so it's a little bit outdated, but still should be fully functional. Now, the reason for these drives is I'm creating a new uh, backup of my main data. So I have a brand new Synology NAS that's going to be featured in another video. So I needed a several new hard drives, and these are going to be installed right into that. Let's get these hard drives benchmarked and make sure that they're legit, actually, before installing any drives into anything you should first verify that they are real hard drives apparently there's a huge market for fake drives so you just go to the manufacturer website you enter the serial number and that's that after verifying that the drives are real the next thing you do is you plug it into a computer through the sata connection i'm going to be using an external enclosure to do the testing so it's going to be over usb 3 gen 2 uh, for those tests to verify they operate at full speed, but also to check the smart to make sure they have no read writes. This is mainly for new drives so that you basically verify they are in good working condition. And then I run a little test, actually the test that he's for benchmarking, uh, just to verify they're operating properly and basic information like that. And then they're going to be ready to go. So let's uh, see how they do in testing. So these hard drives are going into my NAS to upgrade uh, the storage, so it's actually going to my backup NAS. So I have a main NAS and a backup NAS. But let's take a look at the performance data that I was uh, achieved with these hard drives. So on this graph are every single hard drive that I've uh, ever owned more or less recently. I don't have data for the older, older ones, but um, pretty much modern ones, 2011 plus. So right here at the bottom, we have the Red Pro and the Exos 20. You'll notice that I've had another Red 20. So 285, 283 rewrite speeds. That's very fast. Hard drives have come a long way since older, let's say, 3 and 4 terabytes. Almost twice as fast. Oh no, I don't have the data marks on this. But you can see the relative scaling. So around 280-ish should be for sequential um, uh, for uh, Q1 thread one. All right, and random, random speeds are atrocious on hard drives. Oh, I didn't label these as well, but the performance is nothing to write home about. So we'll, let's, just, let's just move on. And this is the, these are the graphs that I got. Um, I will note that for whatever reason, Exos drives in particular, seem to do really well in, like relatively speaking, in write, random writes, compared to Western Digitals. Uh, it, it just seems to happen that way. Uh, don't know why. I do like, I do two passes. I, I know it's not as thorough as it could be, but you know, this is what I got. And then we got some data transfer speeds. This is, um, how many gigs is it? Like eight gigs of, uh, uh, three, three movies that I copy over uh, from an SSD to uh, the hard drive via USB 3.2, so that's 10 gig speeds. So that's not going to be the bottleneck. It is using a USB interface as opposed to SATA, so there is a little bit of data loss, but realistically, you're not, you're not going to see it. So the ter 20 terabyte red at 264, the Exos 20 at 260, the Iron Wolf Pro 20 terabyte, 264. So they're, uh, the other Exos at 276, so they're all sitting right around that 260, 270 uh, megabyte mark. So that's really fast for a hard drive. And with that, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you for joining me here on Computer Tech and More with taking a look at these hard drives. They're quite expansive. Again, I am using these in my my NAS's backup NAS. So data redundancy, having a second copy of your data is good. And having it in an array means that if that backup, if the main NAS, or i.e. hard drive goes, it's still in a second spot that has some kind of redundancy to it. And realistically, you should be doing a 3-2-1 method. 
So this is just my method. Uh, I had a bunch of hard drives already. I just needed to add two new ones, so it was effective enough for me. Anyways, uh, if you like this sort of content, uh, please let me know down below. Hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button really goes a long way in helping with the channel. If you uh, like the general concept of my uh, channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would think about joining me as a Patreon member or as a YouTube member. That really goes a long way. If you got constructive criticism from me on ways I can improve my videos, please go ahead and leave that down below because I'm always trying to improve these videos and make them more enjoyable to watch. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.